we are about to leave the past to go to the pasture. We got to get the animals, got to get the goats, chickens, and ducks back here, get them set up in their pens. Got to get the animals marked up with our contact information. Almost done cleaning up around the house. We've got a few more things to clean up out of the pasture, but we are down to the wire on countdown to storm. It's apparently hitting Bahamas right now um, as a category five. There is a chance that it could come right over us as category four or possibly even a category five. Um, our latest update is that the storm is su sustained winds of 175 miles an hour and it's moving super slow, which makes it worse. It is, we are expected to be getting hit by Dorian for, I think it was 24 to 36 or even 48 hours, depending on how slow it is, um, which is not good. They're talking about right now, poss possibly two feet of rain, which means lots of flooding. So we'll just kind of have to see, but we're gonna go start taking care of the animals now and get them officially ready. I ran to a friend's house and they loaned us a um, all-weather paint stick for livestock that we can use to mark the horses and the cows for the storm. Um, we're out here now actually. Um, come on buddy, it's hot. I don't want you staying in the car. So we're gonna get everything ready out here. Davis already has the horses tied up. We've got to catch the cows. Oh man. Oh man. You guys um have a thank you, Leon. Alright, so I'm gonna try and Where am I going? Hi Moon Pie, what are you doing? Hey love. Alright. This is hurricane prep. This is what happens when you're like doing stuff. Okay, that's okay. You tried, I appreciate it. All right, see you soon. Yeah. Oh, glad to know it shows up on black. Oh yeah, it shows up great. She was like, if it doesn't show, you let me know because I'm going out to some so and so's house and oh, I know they've got, they've got orange, yeah. We're marking the horses in case they get misplaced. This is my phone number. You should you should have my phone number memorized too, sweetheart. Stay safe. Taste take care of all of my children. I'll be in touch. Hi, Bobby. Okay. All right. Are you safe? Drive Fine. safe. Let me know you got there safely. Okay? I will. I will. Right. You know I'm a spaz, but yeah. I know you are, but <laughs> I'm a spaz too. That's where I get it from. Sorry. But I love you. And here it's a spaz. I love you. Ah. I love you. You are my Leon. Okay? You stay safe and you take care of mommy and daddy, okay? I will. All right. I love you, mama. Love safe you. travels. Bye, Flea. Bye, Flea! Bye, Flea. We just uh, okay. saw the update on the news of uh, Bahamas. They just pulled up the information, and right now the uh, highest the wind, the wind gusts are apparently up to 220 miles per hour. And it's looking like the Bahamas are going to be getting slammed on into Monday. Hey, Lexi. Open you with any sticks. I don't know why you're freaking out like this. Baby. I need to do all the chin scratches for the next few days. <laughs> Good job. 
<laughs> She's like, that was some chin scratches. I know, right? I'll try and see if I can get her now. I can even just get this around her neck like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yes, you know me. You know me. things are happening now and how severe it's gotten but we've done everything that we can to make sure that they have the ability to follow their instincts and be safe. Chloe, you gonna let me give you one more pet, honey? Here, I'll even drop the halter. I'm not catching you. I'm just gonna give you a chance. marked up. We've got the horses marked up. Hi babies. Horses are out loose. You don't want to put halters on horses. You don't want to put halters, fly masks, or anything. You just want them to be loose completely. You can braid tags into their manes or we took an all-weather paint stick for livestock and we marked our contact information on every animal out here. But I guess we'll just go ahead and take a before of property because this is not going to look like this after the storm most likely. It's hot in here! Hello! Hi! <laughs> really brownie? Get off of them! Arm ducks, big flock, small flock, and the goats. All packed up and ready. All right, babies, let's get you home. We put the goats in this one, the maids, ma the chickens in this one, and the ducks in this one. I figured that would be big enough for the uh, kitty pool. pool. All right, well, for now, let's scoot it back. Okay. And then we'll unfold the plastic, and then we'll scoot this off to the plastic. Okay, so we got ducks, chickens, 
goats. I'm gonna put the goats hay bag, their water. We didn't give them as much room because we have a large flock of chickens, um, but we got the chickens water. We're gonna put their feeder in here and a nesting box. And then we've got the ducks set up right here because they make a muddy mess and we don't want them to do that to the chickens. So we're gonna let them be in the wrong place. plastic around the perimeter of the of their enclosures. Hi babies. Hi honeys. I know it's not much room. I'm sorry. The chickens, they're in. They're cooling off. We've got the air going in here so they'll be nice and cool until the power goes out. And then the ducks. This is a very well insulated garage. It actually stays much cooler out heat in here than it does out at the pasture. So. Hi babies. Hi Brownie. Hi Maple. You guys ready for some hay? Okay, so we got the feed in there now. The ducks, chickens. Uh, Miss Dottie decided to uh, jump up on the top of the water, so we had to clip wings. So everyone has their wings clipped now. And then Miss Maple and Miss Brownie are hi, ladies. We got their water, their hay. We gave them some alfalfa pellets as a treat. Hi, babies. Um, and they are. And have plenty of room to be able to lay down comfortably, still get up and stretch their legs a bit, and I think we're going to be good. I, mean, I guess that's all we can do. We've done everything we can. I think we're as prepared as we can be. And I'm really glad that we had this fence. <laughs> that, that helped a lot. Yeah. find any updates on the Bahamas, if they've heard anything from the Bahamas. Communications have been very slim with the Bahamas. <sighs> Last I seen, Marsh Harbor was inside mm -hmm. the eye of the head. Whatever I seen. So I'm right about now, they're probably coming out on the worst side of the eye. to the strongest ever Atlantic hurricane with 220 mile per hour winds. So we got flatbed trailer. We're gonna back it up in between the shed and the fence because it's it's little, it's light, it's small. It could get lifted easily. So we're gonna back it up there so that it can have wind breaks. We've got a few things left to put in the shed. Gotta put the table. I gotta move, I gotta move my plants. 
inside into the grow light. I'm about to do that here in a second. And then here soon we're gonna put the plants up. It's so calm you wouldn't think that we're about to get hit with something like that. The uh, chicks, the peeps are inside where they're safe. We've got their brooder box set up. We've got three of the silkies that we hatched and then the one individual silky that hatched last time. And then we've got our uh, new chicks who work on replacing the older chickens in the flock. They're in my office right now, so they're, they'll be safe in here. I'm, I'm gonna set up the plants right here. I've got a grow bulb in my lamp and I'm gonna set them up right there. So I was thinking about how am I gonna possibly give my tomatoes any, even the slightest chance of uh, surviving the storm, and then I thought about it. Why don't I take them off the trellis and lay them down? Um, tomatoes are vines, so they should be able to lay down, and I think that's going to be the best bet to give them the best chance. Um, I have so many tomatoes on this plant right now, too. They're probably going to get gone, but I'm going to let them stay on, and um, we'll see. got everything cleared and we laid the uh, tomatoes down um, had to take the tomato cage off of the pepper that's probably gonna likely snap 